Stop me if you've heard this one before. Because literally everyone is talking about it. Kanye on Alex Jones's show today was jaw-dropping and something that I just, I sat and watched and I could not figure out. Like, I, I, there were other things that I was like, oh, I want to talk about this. But the more that I thought about that, the more clips I'm seeing. Holy good Lord, ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly the reason that people who are liberty minded or people who are right wing or people who just don't want to be ruled over by government should not latch on to everybody who simply says a couple of things that they like. For instance, Kanye West became a prominent person to a more right wing minded people when he came out and started supporting President Trump. That was something that I was like, mm, okay, that, that's not, no, the, the guy's weird and like if he supports the president, that's good. I mean, I still have my own issues there, but now what we're seeing, and this is, this is a warning that I would want to give everybody out there, even the people who are excited for Elon Musk, the absolute crack pottery of the people who are in that realm of wealth, right? The people who are, are, you know, bumping elbows with each other at that level, they all start to lose it at some point in time. Not only do they lose it at some point in time, it's not a matter of, it, I mean, I'm gonna lose it eventually, not because I'm like wealthy or anything, but because I'm gonna get old and I'm gonna become cranky and well, you know, <laughs> time is not our friend. But so many people on the right wing side of things, on, 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 on the, the liberty minded side of the aisle. And I say that because I'm eh, right wing. I don't like that uh, terminology and what they've turned it into. <sighs> but so many people are like, yeah, no, Kanye, you know, he believes in what we believe in. And he obviously doesn't. And this is exactly the thing that 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 the crazies out there have been wanting to happen for so long a way that we can they can obviously tie absolute insanity to the people on the right and then you get somebody who is willing to say hey we're gonna have this conversation we're gonna make sure i honestly believe that kanye would have done this to tim pool had Kanye, but I think Kanye realized, oh crap, Tim's not going to let it get there. And I need to, I need to bounce because I'm not going to be able to tear this guy down. Alex Jones, obviously much more massive than Tim Pool is. Alex Jones is like, hey, you come on my show, you say whatever you want to. And I think that that was the door that Kanye needed to try and get in and absolutely eviscerate the people who would be considered right leaning or liberty minded. This is the weaponization of the celebrity, right? What I think we're seeing right now is a Trojan horse. And I think there's been quite a few of them, right? I mean, old Eye Patch McGee down there in Texas. Good old Eye Patch McGee. Yeah, he was a Trojan horse too. And what we need to realize from this is that people can not just glom onto somebody and hold tight to those people simply because they say one thing that's good. I think that when somebody comes out and says something that's on the money, yeah, you praise them for that, but don't welcome them into your camp. You're like, yeah, no, I agree with you, but you're not allowed to stay in my house, right? You stay in your own house, right? Because now so many people out there have opened the door and said, no, Kanye is the dude and he's on our side and this, that and the other thing. And too many people who are liberty minded have welcomed him readily into the fold, supposedly. And now all of a sudden you have a, a World War II bad guy supporter out there linked with everybody who wants the exact opposite of that, right? What's so funny, too, and why I call this the Trojan horse is because we obviously know that the people who are anti-liberty, anti-liberty minded, this is exactly what they want. They want the totalitarian control. They want government owned everything. They don't want people to own. I mean, the WEF, you know, you will own nothing and you will be happy. But who is going to own it? Well, all of the billionaires, all of the government. 
this is exactly the thing that they have been looking for to be like look we can point to a guy who supported the former president and say that guy absolutely is an anti-semitic and on top of that also you know a <laughs> the other end word the one that ends with an i and not the one that ends with a anyway he's he's a he's a world war ii bad guy supporter right or you know a political party supporter of which they're still around and i just i saw this and i went man i feel bad for alex jones because just seeing it on his face he had no idea where to go what to do he had somebody on his show who came in probably under friendly circumstances sat there probably agreed with alex on a couple of things and then decided to throw this in there and alex is just like no he's trying to give him a space to talk and the guy is just crapping all over his room this is something that the right needs to learn it's something that i've seen for a while it's something that has been talked about for a while hell one of the guys who brought a lot of people to my channel uh, indirectly but razor fist he's talked about this a ton you know the right needs to figure out if we're gonna call it the right i hate calling it the right right it's just it's so muddled up in the modern day terminology but the right needs to figure out exactly how to sift through all of the bad apples and keep them the hell out find the fakers the actors the trojan horses those you know, those, I mean, I mean, Trump was notoriously bad at it. The guy was absolutely horrible at making just about any decision that involved having anybody close to him in the presidency, right? It's, it, I mean, and that's just a fact. Everybody talks about him being a great businessman and a great judge of character, and he didn't prove it. He did not prove that at all. And now we have somebody who is a sympathizer of the the the, uh, the 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 big bad h himself and an anti-semitic who they also have video footage of saying he supports president donald trump oh by the way this guy's also out there taking pictures with candace owens right trying to spearhead that movement as well never forget this runs deep so now candace owens is hanging out with this guy. Candace Owens is also happens to be a, uh, 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 you know, on the Daily Wire as well. Hmm. How deep does this run? And watch the connections that are going to be made and watch the narrative that is going to be spun from this. What happened today with this absolute crackpot is something that needs to be paid attention to and something that people need to to understand how diabolical the other side is. Like I said, I've always thought, nah, Kanye's a little out there. The guy's a little crazy. He's doing like his sermons. Like, that's weird. He's doing like this preacher thing because he did that for a while. I was like, okay, like he supports the president. That's fine. Like, whatever. The guy's still a little weird. I'm going to be honest. When Tim Pool shared the picture the other day, I didn't actually know who was on the plane. I had no idea who that was. I don't really pay attention to Kanye West at all. I know that he married a Kardashian for a while, which that sounds like a horrible mistake. And I he did a, a remix of a song, Stronger, back when I was a kid. And I think that's about the only one that I've ever listened to. Everybody said apparently he's into fashion, but I see the guy wearing snowsuits all the time. And I kind of wonder what the heck that's all about. But outside of that, that's where my knowledge of this guy is. My knowledge of Kanye will now and forever be that he is a Trojan horse. And it is by design what is happening, what has happened, the people he is associated with, the coverage that he has gotten, and we're going to start to see the plan unfold with how they're going to start to tear people down who were around him. The attacks will not stop here. It's all about to get a lot worse and simultaneously a lot more fun. Because, as we know, the internet can take anything and make it a meme. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. And if you guys like what I am doing here, don't forget to comment down below. 
love me or hate me, I make sure to go through and read all of your comments. And I do this in a special live stream that I do at 11 a.m. on Sundays. Every Sunday at 11 a.m. Central Time, I go and I read all of your comments because I figure if you guys are gonna take the time to dedicate time to watching my videos and sharing your thoughts with me, the least I can do is dedicate my time to reading your comments and responding to them to the best of my ability. Also, I am very excited to tell everybody about my Friday night show here, which is co-hosted by IronAge.media and by Mr. Daniel P. Riley, Iron Age Nights, where we bring on new authors that are looking to tell good stories. Well, actually, we also bring on movie producers. If I could find anybody in the game development world, I would bring them on too. People look to tell good stories, heroic stories, go back to what we know to be, you know, the actual real you know, morals that we love to see and follow. Well, we get all those people here on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Central. Sorry, I almost said 8 a.m. I almost said it. almost said it wrong. I'm just going to go military time. Of course, then again, you guys be like, wait, what? But anyway, so don't miss those two shows. 8 p.m. Central here on Friday nights and 11 a.m. Central on Sundays. Be here for the live streams, and I hope that you all enjoy it. And don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And I really want to hear what you guys think about this down in the comments below. So until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.